My name is Brenna Matendere. I am a national member of the Zimbabwe Union of Journalists, SDA in Weru. Uh, we invite you to this short uh, press conference uh, where we are speaking to the MDC Alliance spokesperson, Professor Oshman. Uh, it is at our request, other people, uh, most of you were saying they want to speak to him. Saka, you won't give a speech who we'll ask questions. And it, and then I will start by asking my first question and then I open the floor also for you to do so. And my first question, Prof, uh, which uh, seems common to all of us, is about Medium uh, Tokozan uh, Kupe's position in the MDC. All right, my, my first question as the chairperson, and it then you most often now, is to do with Medium uh, Tokozan uh, Kupe's feelings and. Uh, the uh, a question, uh, in fact, the question that has been uh, happening, unfolding, concerning who the MDC Alliance president is, and so forth. So, could you clarify on the issue of a uh, uh, meeting to Because she is saying she's the one who is legal, and so forth, and so forth. All right. Uh, th thanks very much, friend. Uh, le let me say that. Um, First and foremost, the issue of, on uh, my sister, um, President, Vice President Tawazane Kope, uh, is first an MDCT issue. And um, I will generally have no mandate to talk about it in the context of the MDCT. Uh, however, in the context of the MDC alliance, the truth of the matter is that uh, this is a problem which has been with us for a long time within the context of their lives. Um, there was obviously a clash of visions, a clash of uh, strategy uh, between uh, Vice President Kupe and President Twangirai. Uh, we all know that when we were building the MTC alliance, uh, President Twangirai's vision uh, was that first let us bring together the uh, various pieces, for want of a better word, of the original MDC. And uh, then around the original MDC, we then bring other parties so that we can uh, build an MDC alliance. But the foundation uh, was to be the uh, old MDC, which meant the MDCT, the MDC that I lead, and PDP. That was his vision. That's why in the first instance he got to talk to me and Comrade BT and we agreed on that way forward. And then build from there. Uh, unfortunately and regrettably, uh, Comrade Cooper had a different vision. Uh, her vision was that the rest of us uh, who were previously part of one family in the MDC uh, were not relevant to the future and she wanted the MDCT to go into coalitions with, uh, with other parties other than in the first instance the MDC. So that, that is the core of the problem from day one. Uh, and let's understand therefore where we are as a rising out of that clash of visions. Uh, I know that President Twangrai was uh, very worried, was hurt uh, about this thing. He did everything he could to bring uh, Comrade Kupe back onto that vision. Regrettably, uh, he passed on uh, before he succeeded. I know that President Jamisa continues to talk to her, to talk to her people, to send emissaries so that she can come back to that vision because we believe that is the vision that works. We, and it's not a vision that uh, President Sangrai just picked from the air. It is a vision he built after he went round the country consulting uh, what people uh, wanted. And what is happening as we go around the country is testimony that he understood the public mood. And hence all these rallies that you see where unequivocally people are following that vision uh, that com uh, President Sangirai left us. So that is the problem. Everything else is smoke and mirrors. And uh, we need to understand that way. But we'll continue. As an alliance, we'll continue to engage, we'll continue to <coughs> encourage President Sangirai to engage. 
hopefully it's not yet too late. We hope that she could be pulled back. What is, um, what is the progress, uh, Professor Oshwani, so far? None. Unfortunately, none. No progress. Mr. President, uh, what is uh, your stance with regards to the MDC Alliance uh, manifesto in as far as the elections are concerned? Let, let me not preempt that. Uh, sometime during the course of next week, we'll let you know, we will launch uh, what we call the peace document, which is the document on the implementation of electoral reforms, what need to be done. Partly what uh, President Chamisa spent the first uh, 20 minutes explaining at the rally. We'll launch that. But after that, we'll then launch our manifesto as well. But let me not preempt it. Uh, we will get to that stage. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm not giving a space to a community. I'm just saying, I just say follow up on, on the issue of manifestos. What of the logo and the colors of Alliance as it is? Do you have anything in mind? You, you would have seen, if you have seen the Alliance uh, advert, hmm? there is a, a logo in there which is a logo which has all the uh, logos of all the parties in a circle, right? And then at the center there is the election symbol, which is the open hand, uh, currently with uh, President Tsangirai's face. So in there you have the logo and the election symbol in one. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it uh, on me to show it to you. But if you look at the adverts for these rallies, which is the principals <laughs> at the bottom holding hands and Chamisa at the top, uh, and you'll see at the corner, in fact, somewhere uh, next to my tummy, there is a circle there. That is the, the logo. Okay. Yes, yes, comrade. sharing of constituencies. Yes, that, that is, in fact, in the agreement. If you uh, look at the alliance agreement, it tabulates the number of seats agreed to be allocated to each party. Then there is an appendix which actually lists the names of the seats that have been allocated to each party. So it's, it's concluded. What is happening now, which is okay, uh, at provincial level, the leadership then looks, let's say, here in Midland South. The various provincial chairpersons says, ah, guys, we allocated in Merengwa, but we think we are stronger in Shuruk. Can we discuss between, for instance, MTC and MTCT on swapping those, or between PTP and MTCT, or between uh, People First and uh, PDP? So that is what is happening. But the frame is agreed, the seats are allocated. At national level, we have said the provincial leadership, knowing the dynamics, they can negotiate swapping those seats, and they continue to do it. Professor, uh, we, have, we have heard uh, Honorable Chamisa, the president of the Alliance, who is the vice president? <laughs> 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 what do you think is the vice president of the Alliance? <laughs> uh, we have a president for the Alliance. <coughs> there is no vice president uh, of the Alliance in the Alliance agreement. Right? Uh, however, we we all know in terms of the respective strengths of the alliance partners. Right? You will see the order of who speaks. Right? Who speaks first, who speaks second, who speaks, and who speaks before uh, Comrade Chamisa speaks. So that should give you a cue of the hierarchy in the alliance. Oh, there, there was a question there, please. Let's just have this comrade. I come to you. Prof, yeah. Prof Nure, uh, it, it looks like uh, Dr. Tawazanku has been uh, to make sure that she fights on. If we may want to know who are the other people from Matebele and who are behind her, what is the backing? Because this is a game of numbers. Well, uh, my understanding and our understanding is the alliance is that the people of Zimbabwe across across provinces. You saw the numbers in Dete uh, last week. Uh, you will see the numbers when we get to Bulawayo on the 7th uh, of April. Um, you will see the numbers when we get to Bay Beach. The, the people of this country are clear where they, they stand. So uh, I don't think the dispute is about where the people stand and what the people want. Everyone uh, wants change and everyone <laughs> believes at this moment that our best shot at change is with President Chamisa leading us. I, I, I think you need to be deaf and dumb not to be able to figure that one out. Uh, but in terms of at leadership, uh, leadership level, 
We all know that within the MDCT, uh, Comrade Coupe is uh, backed by Comrade Bebe and uh, to a lesser extent by Comrade uh, Love Momoy. Uh, beyond that, there are a few other uh, people at provincial level, the secretary and so forth and so on. But uh, in terms of uh, the mass of the people, uh, I think the people are clear where they are. Yes, come to speak. Okay. I wanted to ask the current person, Dr.